right, this is the typical look of one of my cages when I have neglected it for about two weeks. And I did this on purpose to get this video to give you guys an idea of how I clean my cages. This is a hide box that I use for layers when they're about to lay. I fill it with sporagnet moss. This female has been breeding for um, last this last season, so that's why I have her here. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. Um, then I'll do that the next one because that's why they were there. But um, So all I do is take everything out. I keep all of my geckos on newspaper. Do a dry white, dry rub down. Dry rub down. You want to leave when they're breeding. You want to leave the, um, the smell of the female still inside their box while they're mating. You don't want to fully wipe it out. So usually I do a dry rub down. Give a quick spray with some of my. I use vinegar and water in my shop. A really lightly diluted vinegar and water solution to help clean out everything. Alright, quick wipe down. Then, usually go with about two rows. Select the sheet. Wipe it down. Same thing, and like I said, this is going to be on water, so. Oops. Hit that. White. Man. Oops. So it goes back in. Yeah. All right. And this last bottle cap you see going in is what I keep all of my calcium in. And I mix my calcium and my vitamins together and put them inside the same thing and put them in so it starts to get a little messy switch your bottle cap out that's pretty much it got your mealworm dish you got your calcium dish and you got your water dish I keep all my heat on the back of my rack so once I slide in heat's on the back all foods on front basic care basic setup for a breeder box for your bearded leopard geckos um, that's pretty much it